welcome to work problems. Okay, in these problems we're going to talk about people doing jobs, how long it takes them to do it, and if they work together, how two people working on one job affects the rate. It's word problems, so by now, hopefully we know, read it, annotate it. So problem number one, Dale could draw five graphs every four hours, that's for Dale, and Norman could draw three graphs every two hours. How many hours would it take Dale and Norman working together to draw 11 graphs? Now, one thing to note, and this is up at the top of the page, we talk about work problems as your rate times your time is the work that you complete. The one thing to note is when we talk about rate, Rate is the amount of jobs you can do in some amount of time, okay? So if I can grade seven papers in 20 minutes, my rate would be seven out of 20 or seven over 20. So it's seven jobs, 20 minutes, whatever the time frame might be. So for problem number one here, we have Dale, and he is working with Norman, to create some amount of total work completed. So Dale's rate is five graphs every four hours. Norman's rate is three graphs every two hours, and together they're going to draw 11 graphs. Now the question is, how many hours would it take Dale and Norman working together? And the answer is, I don't know yet. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take each one of these and give them a time of T. They are working together. So whatever Dale can accomplish plus whatever Norman can accomplish needs to add up to that 11 total. So once I've got this set up, I have an equation now. I'm not a huge, huge fan of the fact that I – hold on one second, now that I just realized I made a mistake. Um, Norman could draw three graphs every two hours. Two hours, not four hours. Oops. Yeah, make sure you put the right numbers in the problem. That makes a difference. Um, all right, so let me double check this. Uh, five graphs, four hours. Three graphs, two hours. Okay, yeah, this time I got it right. So for those of you playing at home, if you were hollering at the screen about where I came up with a four for uh, Norman, the answer is I don't know. Um, so let's go back to solving this thing. Uh, not a huge fan of having fractions to deal with. So you, if you're comfortable with fractions, have at, right? It is your choice. Uh, I'm going to show you how you can basically get rid of the fractions in one fell swoop. And the way we're going to do that is to multiply by the least common denominator. Right now we have denominators of 4 and 2. So LCD, least common denominator, would be 4. So if I take 4 times 5 fourths, all that's going to be left is 5. We're going to multiply that times t. Plus 4 times 3 over 2 is 6t. And that equals 4 times 11, which would be 44. So 5t plus 6t is 11. t is equal to 44, so t is equal to 4. And the one thing to be careful with these problems, you should label your answers always to make sure that um, you're accurate and you're specific in your answer. So working together, Dale and Norman can draw 11 graphs in four hours. That's what this problem says. Okay. So if we move on to number two here, same process. We're going to read it, annotate it, make some kind of an equation out of it. So Joe can wash three cars in five hours. Stacy can wash four cars in three hours. Fifteen cars need to be washed. Now what we want to find out here is it says Joe works for two hours and is then joined by Stacy. All right, so we're going to have to pay attention to that timing. So let's see, we have Joe here, all right, and Joe plus Stacy. Okay, hold on one second as I learn how to spell Stacy again here. There we go. Yep, that's what I spelled right, equals our total. Okay, so Joe's rate 
is three cars, five hours. Stacy's rate is four cars in three hours. Okay, and we have a total of 15 cars. Now, here's where we want to be careful about our time. Because Joe and Stacy don't work for the same amount of time. That's where we want to be really careful here. So when we're doing this, we want to make sure that that time that Joe worked by himself, he worked for two hours, and then he's going to work the same amount of time that Stacy works. Okay? So he works for longer than she does. That's okay for this problem. And whatever he completes plus whatever she completes is going to get us that total of 15. Uh, not a huge fan of the fraction, so if I can get rid of it, I'm going to. The LCD in this case is 15. So let's see. Uh, 15 times 3 over 5 is going to be 9 times, in this case, T plus 2 or 2 plus T. Okay. Plus 4 thirds of 15 is, what is that, 20? That's 20T equals 15 times 15 is 225. Okay, so little equation to solve here. Let's see, 18 plus 9T plus 20T equals 225. Uh, so that's going to be 29T equals, what's 225 minus 18? Uh, my calculator tells me that's 207. All right, divide both sides by 29. And I'm going to guess that that does not work out to be terribly pretty. It does not. Um, for these problems, round off to one or two decimal places. Um, if the directions say something specific, follow the directions. Uh, for this case, I'm going to go with two decimal places and say it would take them 7.14 hours. Hours? Yes, it is hours. Okay. All right. So let's see if we have any more curveballs when we get on to the next one. All right, so we've got Scott here. Scott could empty two bottles in three hours. Working with Abdul, he found they could empty four bottles in three hours. How long would it take Abdul to empty one bottle? Okay. So this is we want to be careful how we set this up because we've got a little bit of a different pieces of information this time. So we've got Scott, okay, and I'm just labeling to keep track of everything in my brain. So Scott working with Abdul, okay, equals some total amount completed. All right. So Scott could empty two bottles in three hours. Working with Abdul, he found they. So this is their time together. So together, they can empty four bottles in three hours. So each one of them is going to get three hours of time. Now it says, how long would it take Abdul to empty one bottle? So Abdul needs to be able to do one bottle in I don't know how much time. Okay. So this is kind of a weird setup because instead of giving each individual, you were given the combined, and you need to figure out one individual. Okay. So this is a place where I want to simplify this mess up a little bit, and then I want to see if I can get rid of the fractions. So let's see what we've got here. This 3 right here times 2 thirds is just going to be 2. 1 over t times 3 is 3 over t, and this is equal to 4. So what I want to do is multiply through by my common denominator, my LCD, and in this case the LCD is t. So if I distribute, I would have 2t plus, so t times 3 over t is 3, and that's going to equal 4t. So just solving the regular little function here, little equation, um, we're going to get 3 over 2. Uh, so in this case, working alone, Abdul would take 1.5 hours 
you could absolutely leave it as three over two um, to empty one bottle. All right, so that's his job timing. All right, let's see what problem number four has in store for us here. So problem number four, we've got Ted can paint a fence in 18 hours. Ted painted for five hours. Barney came over to help. Together, they finished painting the fence in eight more hours. How many hours would it have taken Barney to paint the fence alone? Okay. So, again, we're given a total time, but in this case, we've got Ted, who had started working before Barney helped. So, let's see our people. We've got Ted. We have Barney, and we have our total, okay? So Ted can paint a fence in 18 hours. So that's one fence takes him 18 hours. That's his rate. Now it says Ted painted for five hours. So I'm going to go ahead and give Ted five hours of time. Together, they finish painting the fence in eight more hours. So that means Ted's going to get eight more, and Barney gets eight total hours of work. Okay. Now, what are they completing? They're completing one job. They're doing just one fence. And it says, how many hours would it have taken Barney to paint the entire fence alone? Well, I have no idea, but it's one fence over T or X or Q. Pick your variable. Okay. So I'm going to clean this up and just see if I can make it a little bit nicer. Uh, so let's see. 5 plus 8 is 13 over 18 plus 8 over t equals 1. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and multiply by my LCD here, which is going to be 18t. So let's see what happens here. Uh, 13 over 18 times 18t is just going to be 13t, plus what on earth is 18 times 8? Uh, my handy dandy calculator tells me that is 144 and it's going to equal 18t. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract 13t from both sides, so that should be 5t. Uh, let's see, divide both sides by 5, and we're going to get a t value here of 28.8. So on his own, it would take Barney 28.8 hours to complete this job, okay? All right, last one for this set, and then the work problems are going to be done for right now. So let's see. It says Alan can do eight jobs in three days. Mary can do five jobs in two days. 39 jobs needed to be done. Alan worked for three days, and then Mary joins in. All right, so let's see. We've got Alan. We've got Mary. And, of course, we've got the total. Okay. So Alan's got eight jobs, three days. Mary's got five jobs in two days. And we have a total of 39 jobs that need to be done. Now, timing-wise, it says Alan works for three days. So we've got to give Alan his three days of working. And then Mary joins in. So how many days will they have to work together to complete 39 jobs? I don't know. So let's go ahead and add in T or X or Q, you know, whatever your variable is of choice. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and say that those guys are working together. All right. Um, we need – whoops, sorry about that. Uh, I'm going to do a little cleanup first and then multiply this mess out, I think. All right, so let's see. This is going to be 24 plus 8t over 3. I'm just distributing. Plus 5t over 2 equals 39. That equal sign looks horrible. Let's try that again. There is an equal sign. Uh, LCD in this case is going to be 6. Right, The least common denominator for 3 and 2 is 6. So if I use that, uh, 6 divided by 3 is 2 times 24 plus 8t plus, let's see, 6 divided by 2 would be 
3 times 5t. And I have no idea what 6 times uh, 39 is. So let's do that. That is 234. All right, little distributive property here. So this is going to be 48 plus 16t plus 15t equals 234. Uh, let's do a little cleanup here. So 21, no, that's not 21, that's 31. Let's try that again. 31t is equal to, uh, let's see, if I subtract 48 from both sides, it's going to be 186. Divide everything by 31. And this works out to an even. I don't know why. I just wrote a 3 down. That's supposed to be a 6. All right. So working together, they would need an additional 6 days to complete all 39 jobs. Okay, so this is work problems. Not every work problem is identical, but if you pay attention to rate times time, you will be able to figure them out. Uh, as always, send me questions or concerns with anything that is in this video, and I hope this has helped.